Hey there, it's Sharon, your guitar guide helping you find your sound. And if you wanted to learn how to play Sweet Home Chicago, Eric Clapton style, well, that's coming up. Yeah. All right, thanks for joining me here for this second part of the video. And this is what we're going to learn. Thank you and welcome to Your Guitar Guide, the channel where I'm going to help you find your sound with guitar lessons, music, and gear review. If this is your first time here, have a look around. Consider subscribing for more guitar tips and tricks. And if this is your first time here, have a look at Lesson 1, because that's the beginning of this lesson. So, for right now, we're going to learn the Boogie Woogie. which is found in many of blues songs. So if you don't know it, now's the time to learn it. So you start in this song, he's playing the E and the A. And we're going to play E5 and an A5. And you start with the first finger on the second fret of the A string. And we're going to pick the E and the A at the same time. What you want to do is we're going to count to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the three, four is with your third finger, or you could use your pinky. I can stretch over here with my third finger and play the fourth fret of the A string. So you go. Now notice it's ringing out. You want a chunky sound, so you use this part of your hand down here by the bridge, and you're going, you're going to lay it across the strings. Instead of, might be kind of hard to hear on this little parlor guitar, but. That's it ringing out, and here's it not ringing out. That's the E5. Then we're going to go and play the A5, which is the same, but we're putting our first finger on the D string at the second fret. Now we're going to pick the A and the D string, so the fifth and fourth string. You're picking them at the same time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Our third finger is over here on the fourth fret of the D string. And still using this hand to mute the strings. Here's how it is in the song. A5. Back to E5. So when you're playing the boogie woogie, you can add some little runs in it 
which that was open E string, two, three, four, and then go to that A5. So it's open E, and we're picking everything twice to stay with the rhythm of it. So I like to pick down on the E string and then back up. So it's And also, in parts of it, you can hear the rhythm when he's playing the A's, playing. Which is, this part's the same. Then we're going to reach over, which might be difficult for you, if you're not used to stretching your fingers. So you're going to stretch your pinky on the D string, 5th fret. And you'll find that when things are, when it's hard to stretch out, keep your elbow in and lower, like lean into it. It's easier. It's pretty easy on this because it's a parlor guitar and it's smaller, so. But on a big dreadnought guitar, that might be a big stretch. Hope that's been some help to how to play the Boogie Woogie in this Sweet Home Chicago song in the style of Eric Clapton. If you like it, can you give me a thumbs up? Leave me a comment. I'd like to know what you think and be nice. This is video lesson two on a four-part series, so be sure and watch the next video because we're going to learn the turnaround. Watch this video next. Thanks.